Peace and blessings, family. So I'm going through one of my one of my favorite books. It's been a while since I, I, I've read it, and every time I go back and, and I read one of my favorites, yeah, I get something different. You know, it goes back to uh, I guess Heraclides. Man can't step in the same river twice. A man is not the same man, and the river is not the same river. So it's always good to go back and, and read this information with a, an expanded awareness. It's a different level of understanding of where I am in life. So, but I was reading the part about multi-sensory beings. Talking about multi-sensory beings, being able to perceive things outside of the five senses. And it took me back to a meditation that I had uh, not long ago where... You know, before I meditate, I like to go to my ancestor altar and I'll light a candle and just give thanks. Give thanks for the support that I know that is there for me and has always been there for me. So I light a candle on the altar and I begin to sit down and I meditate. Give thanks to the ancestors. Give thanks to the ascended masters. Give thanks to the archangels. Give thanks to the Blavians. All the beings that are there supporting me throughout this journey. And as I'm, I'm meditating, um, I feel the presence of all these ancestral light beings. And what's funny is, for me, the, the, the idea of ancestry has always been very linear. You know, my grandma, her grandma, my grandfather, his grandpa, all of those linear understandings of ancestry. But while I'm there, literally, I'm seeing 20,000. 20,000 beings of light there accompanying me, bringing more light, more love for this planet and for the folks who are here and for myself. And I was overwhelmed by just the sheer energy and the love and the guidance and support that has always been there. And so while I'm in that moment, I'm tearing up because it was just, it was unbelievable to experience. And in that very moment, the light beings began to separate, almost in a, in a sense of deference and respect, so that this one being could emerge through the sea of light beings that was already there. And as this being emerged, it came directly to me, right to me. And she hugged me. And with literally, with a, a peppermint scented tissue, she began to dry my face and dry my tears because it was such a powerful moment. And she said, baby, baby, I want you to know you got it all. You got it all. And she hugged me and it was one of the most loving feelings I have ever experienced. And I was like, I was, I was blown away by it. And I said, well, what do I call you? Who are you? And she said, my name is Ife. You can call me Ife. I said, well, Miss Ife, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Thank you for your love, for your guidance, and for your support. And she went back into the sea of ancestors, and we continued to meditate. And it was a beautiful experience. Well, later on that day, um, I'm just doing little stuff around the way, around the house, whatever, and... All of a sudden, I get the still small voice. He said, ain't you going to look up the name Ife? That ain't the most common name. And so I looked up the name Ife. And in Yoruba, the meaning of Ife is love. And so through all, out of all of that, love came forward to tell me that you got it all. That if you tap into the love, baby, you got it all. That there's nothing that we are wanting there is no sense of incompletion or lack. We have it all. It is up to us to come into the awareness that every single thing that we could even think about has already been given. But it's not within the context of our five senses. We must do the work to become multi-sensory beings, to elevate our awareness and our perception of who we are, and to know that we are not here alone that we are guided, that we are loved and supported by a presence that is greater than anything we can even imagine or conceive. So when we sit in the seat of our soul, which is a beautiful book, and we understand who we really are, not just personality, but true emanations of God. Remember that. And also remember, if it ain't all good, it ain't all done. <laughs>